All right, welcome back. Um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reviewing dividing using the partial quotient strategy. So be sure that um, you practice this at home so that way you master it, so that way when you come back to my class, you have this down pat ready to go. You want to know how to long divide and get it everything divided and know how to do that and how to have remainders and all that good stuff. So with that being said, um, I'm just going to quickly go over this acre chart, which I'll also post a picture of it closer so that way you can see how it's done. So um, remember your dividend is your bigger number, your divisor is your small number, your quotient is your answer. Okay, so with that being said, six. Six is going to be divided into 354. Now notice, six. Does six go into three? It does not. So that means you have to scoot over. How many times does six go into five? Uh, five. Five times six is 30. Now notice I wrote 30 here. Okay. After you do that, you have to subtract, and then you would get to five. Now, I went over and wrote a zero. Make sure you write a zero after that, because after you have subtracted, you need that zero there. Because after I subtracted 35 minus 30, I got five, and then I have to do four minus zero, bring down that four, so four, it makes 54. Six goes into 54, hmm, nine times. Nine times six equals 54. 54 minus 54 is zero. When your answer comes and ends with a zero, that means you have no remainders. Now, for example, with this one right here, 342, your dividend, your divisor three, and your quotient, so we're trying to figure out, which is already written here for you. Um, this one does not have a remainder either, but this one over here does. It has 943 divided by eight equals 111, 117, remainder seven. Now watch how this one goes. So again, eight goes into nine one time eight times one is eight subtract it you get one then you say okay scoot over add that zero four minus zero is four okay how many times does four now going to four or eight go into 14. eight goes into 14 one time one times eight is eight this eight here you subtract it from that 14 to get six then you put the zero here and then you bring down this three to make 63. 8 goes into 63. Hmm. 7 times 8 is 56. That's as close as you can get to 63 without going past it. So 8 times 7 is 56. You subtract 63 from 56 to get 7. After you get to your 1s and there's still not a 0 remaining, that means that this number down here is your remainder. So that's why it's 117 with a remainder of 7. So I wrote this word problem over here that I'll quickly just demonstrate with you for you to have a better visual. Um, so again, always cover your uh, numbers that are past the first number, okay? So for this one, three goes into four how many times? One. So one times three equals three. Subtract that, okay? So then you do four minus three equals one. Pretty simple. Don't forget, you have to add that zero right there. So then you do two minus zero is, oh, straight down, two. Pretty simple. Okay, so then you do, um, how many times is three going to 12? Three, six, nine, 12. Four times, okay, that's easy. So four times three equals 12. So you write 12 underneath that, subtract it, you get zero. Then you have to bring down your five. Three goes into five. Hmm, three, six. Oh, six is too much, so it's only one. So one times three is three. Subtract it. Five minus three is two. So this two is now your remainder. So your dividend 425 divided by your divisor, which is three, is going to equal your quotient, which is 141 with a remainder of two. All right, I will post some questions for you to answer below and be sure you work on these and try to solve these. An idea is possibly having your parents do this with you. If you do have a calculator at home and you put these into your calculator, the remainder is not going to look the same as how we do it in class. So you could use a calculator to see if like this part of it's right 
but your remainder, don't worry about that part because it's not going to look the same on a calculator versus how you do it this way. Okay? Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'm here for you. Post a question underneath the video or on the link or wherever this is, and I'm here for you. All right. Show me that you can divide when you get back. All right. Until next time, bye-bye.